actually. This throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm pretty sure it's not water. Well, just Gross. think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. I was the one who snuck Kasuga in with that game. Absolutely disgraceful. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice bad back. I'm sorry, Adachi san. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I'm the man. Really? Damn. Credit where it's due, I guess. But what'd you do differently than I did? <laughs> I bet only the chosen one could pull it out. <laughs> this is where they transform. Whoa! What just happened? Did you see those guys freaking transform? Huh? What are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Yakuza 7 like a dragon. Friends of yours? <sighs> no. Can't say I remember them. <laughs> Why, hell you don't. You ruined our lives. Did I? I take it I arrested you at some point or another? You want to forget the Yokohama paint pathards. Ichijo's top burglary what? ring. Oh, yeah. That takes me back. Man, how long has it been since I busted you guys? 20 years? We've got records now, asshole. And now we can't even work. You're gonna take some responsibility for Hold that. Hold on! Hey, it's not Audrey's fault that you got busted. Huh? You a cop, bro? Nah, just here to find some work. Hey. Come on, let's leave these guys to stew and get out of here. Oi. Hold on, Audrey. Why are you looking for work? Cause I lost my job at the station, obviously. Huh? You quit? That means you can't arrest us anymore, right? <laughs> no matter how many times we hit you. <sighs> you that bent on revenge? I wanna put that kind of effort into your job, Hunt. Shut the hell up. We'll beat the shit out of the three of you. Yes, Not a loser. Oh, auto yeah. battle. Okay, cop, watch this. You're in it now. Ah. Just enough. Be adaptable. Whoa. Hey, that worked. Get serious. Steal. Hey. Come on. Eat that. Get that asshole for stealing my shit. Wanna fight? Fuck you. Okay. Take your best Give me the item back! Oh, you don't give the item back, huh? I'm going to show you an ass whooping, boy. Damn. Let's go. Oh no, Ichiban! He couldn't take that stab, so he fell over. Moving Awakening up. Dragon Trophy. Go. Talk about taking it personally. You arrested so many people and you don't remember what they look like, Adachi san? It's all ancient history now, but I don't have to deal with shit like that while I wore a badge. I wonder if that's gonna be the new norm. <sighs> For real? I don't wanna be anywhere near you then. <laughs> Let him come. I'll take as many as they can throw at me. Well, that will work awaits. I wonder what 
the max level for jobs is. We're gonna find out one way or another. But I'm gonna put Costco back to freelance just in case the story puts him back without a weapon. That's possible. Next, number 68. Yes. Yeah. The name's Ichiban Kasuga. 42 years old, I'm strong, I've got a home, and I need a job. Help a guy out. Alright, tone it down. No need for thri theatrics. Huh? Weren't you... the janitor? No. Oh, aren't you that homeless guy I sent over to the bar for a side gig? So you've got a roof over your head now. Thanks. Oh, hmm? well, thanks to that job you helped us get. Glad to hear it. So, why are you on that side now? What do you mean? This is my job. Huh? D -d -d Director? You're the director of this place? Director? Think you can find some work for us? <laughs> oh, you made some friends. Yeah, my party's got three people in it now. <laughs> Party, huh? <laughs> you play games, Costco kun Yeah, I'm a big Dragon Quest fan. Dragon Quest? That's a good one. I play it myself. Anyway, let's see what jobs we have for the hero and his retinue here. We are in your debt, good sir. That said, I just want to warn you, I made an exception last time. I was trying to see if a couple of homeless guys could stand on their own feet. But now that we're doing this legitimately, I have to follow the rules. What rules? The golden rule. I can only assign you jobs that you're qualified for. Even in Dragon Quest, some jobs are locked until the character reaches a certain skill or level, right? Think of it like that. Life is just a big RPG when you get down to it. Sure, so what would our current experience level get us into? Mm. An ex con, a bum, and a fired cop. Here's. A special bathhouse? Oh. So, a soap land. Hey. Hold on, maybe that's the best you can get these two, but. I've got years of service to lean on. According to your documentation, you've never been married? What's that got to do with anything? You're telling me you've gone this long as a lonely single man without resorting to pay for it? That seems right up your huh? alley. Uh, uh, how dare you? I, I mean, it, it's not even that legal. Or eerie, I don't know. Anyway, what you boys need is to build up some work history. And don't think this bathhouse gig is going to be a walk in the park. The owner there is a little eccentric. It's totally up to him if he takes you in on the board. Good luck. Hey. Okay. Let's go nail this interview. Um, wait. Oh, I can't actually change the job yet? I gotta do this first? Weren't you able to change the job the first time you came here? Hmm. Alrighty then. Again, I gotta remember they might they adjusted a lot of stuff for that demo. Man, why you gotta be little dicks? Hey, you know how many bikes are around here? And cones! Oh my god! Why do you get thrown like that? Well, let's see if he'll pick up items. Oh no, he won't. Okay, I'm gonna just take it that they don't take items. Ow, ow, ow! Ow! Let's go! Ah, they're down anyway. Okay. Have fun with this. What are you even ow? I don't wanna know why you even have that gun. Nice. I kind of thought I could maybe go through an alley or something. Hmm? 
<laughs> What's up with this guy? Uh, just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys, let's do this. Roger. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Yeah. this? Just take him out, Nanba. Oh, he's got some health on him. Nope. You're not doing that butt bounce bullshit. Let's go. He resisted that, huh? Heavy beat down. Let's do it. Just not care about our physical attacks. No, no, don't look, don't do it. Have fun with this. Sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. Ah, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? Zhong Wei? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Huh? Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest? How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. Not right oh, now. Man. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. Should have walked down the other fucking sidewalk. <laughs> This place I call the Sujiman Center, it's a fully functional research lab. You mean your fully random office room? Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujiman, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujiman are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujiman. Uh huh. Same for pocket okay, monsters. Sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? 
Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Well, me out for a minute. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. <laughs> No, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly, yes? So, I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. Hear that? Stood each bun. I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So. How do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all the work. Oh boy. As for how it operates? Well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Hey! Time to earn your key! What the fuck? Who are these goons? Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Uh, not sure where you're going with this, but... Let's go with blue. Okay, then. Blue it is. All right. You two give blue here some backup. Now... Give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! Get ready for a Sujimon battle! Oh my god. Bring it on! Yeah. Oh, what's this? I got this. Best oh, shit. Damn. Cool. Check this out. You want to fight? Why fuck I'm that up? You're in it now. Yeah. Yeah. You're weak. So Let's go. Who are you? Let's go. Nice. Okay. I got this. That's fun with this. Oh yeah. Hey, he may resist, but you taking the hits.
<sighs> Impressive. Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up and you'll be the best, like no one ever was. That's kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? Oh god. Oh god. A Soji Dex. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't escape Pokemon, That's the can idea. you? Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, no, I collected all the Pokemon. Us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. So you gotta dispatch them all. Then you'll be the next Sujimon master. <laughs> you. Now then, uh, that had a little detour there. Um. Hi, Mizuki-san. Their time is up. Oh my God, Rigby! Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet stuck. Well. Just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. <laughs> are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better, okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Man, those pictures on the wall. Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so. You came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on this guy's gotta be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. <sighs> hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <sighs> This is Serio clan territory? Mm, well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what?
What are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Why did you do yeah, it like that? What about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichi Cho! Wait, that's where the this is where the demo ended. Mm -hmm. And then the girl was supposed to Oh they yeah, they did just give you the girl to to use during the demo. Oh shit. A group of nobody pests called Bleach Japan. Can't believe they're already back. Same guys as the other day. I've been demonstrating in front of my shop for a few days in a row now. Like clockwork. It's a pain in the ass. Oh. They're specifically targeting you with these protests? Well, we're the last place in the area that's open about being a bathhouse. There's have all rebranded as men's salons or bubble massages. That makes it harder for Bleach Japan to build a case around them. So they come after us since we're still open about being a soap land. They think if we can clo they can close me down. I'll start a shockwave and clean up the rest of the rest of the area. I think I think maybe I'll just stop on the game either once I unlock the jobs or still when I get a fourth party member. Am I lucky or what? Listen. And the Yakuza won't protect you? I tried complaining to the Seiryu clan once. They had some lame excuse and then they showed up after everything had quieted down. Besides, Bleach Japan's ranks are filled with the types to read up on anti Yakuza laws for the fun of it. Those kinds of people are tough for even the Yakuza to deal with. That's the Yakuza for you. So if I can't go to the Yakuza, and I can't harass, I'm at the end of my rope over here. Right. So that's why you're un understaffed. But basically, you're saying as long as the girls stick around, you can still run your business? That said, between Bleach Japan and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around either. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it at all. Girls who come here to work already have their backs against the wall. The girls who wake here are all Japanese, but they're in the same situations as an immigrant who came here all the way from whatever it may be. Or to get away. Who's in a job like this may as well be deportion. They've got no one to go back to 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 rely on. Eh. Okay. I always figured it was the money that brought girls to this kind of work. Yep. Of course. A lot of people come to get tempted to the side of things because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think they'll strike it rich without doing any real work. As soon as things take a turn for the worse, they'll run for the hills. That's why I only hire women so far out on the ledge they can't afford to take another step back. Women like that work like their lives depend on it. And that's what keeps my business stable. Hey. Stable my ass. You're just taking advantage of women at their lowest. You're the scum of the earth. Say what you will. But lust weighs on the soul just as heavy as hunger, if not more so. Except with lust. You can't just satiate it at your local deli. You have to hold on to it until you find an outlet. So long as women are willing to be able on the menu, men are going to place orders. That's the world we live in. Sup? Whatever. If we drive that guy off, will you hire us or not? Yo. Kasuga, after everything that Slimeball just said, you still want to work here? I certainly don't. This guy's nothing like Hamako. The world we the world would be a better would be better off if we let Bleach Japan take him down. Shut up. It's work. And I can't afford to turn that down. I'll take your job, and I'll get it done right. You're gonna hire us or not. Fine. Uh, prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet this establishment is flaunting it in the broad daylight. Hey. Working hard as ever, huh? What? You guys, from the other day, why are you here? Oh, that's the day? We're employees. Employees, huh? My friends, I've known. I'm sorry, criminals? If that was the case, why aren't we getting arrested? 
because soap lands are dodging the laws by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone, the dark stains on Japan. Let us turn this gray to white. We must bleach it out. Go. And what about you? You think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? Never committed a single crime? True. Of course I obey the law. That's the obligation of every righteous citizen. So you've never even, like, taken a whiz outside? That's technically a crime, you no. know? No. Never once. Not in my life. <sighs> Seriously? What about speeding? 